वेलकम टू द प्रोग्राम वॉट रियली नो वे Hi this is Pasha Shalem I'm glad that you have tuned into this program This program is full of answers to your wonderful questions and I'm sure that you will definitely enjoy each and every bit of it but the question and answers will be short due to the time factor so don't judge the program This program is specifically done for people who are needing the answers to their questions and I'm sure you will get the answers that you are looking for So write down to us if you have any questions and answers that you are looking for and we will definitely try to help you out. Welcome to the program. We are so happy and excited to bring this program to you and we have a lot of exciting questions to answer. Uh many people are writing uh questions to us and uh we are taking your all your questions to answer you. Get ready uh to listen from our anointed bishop dr matthew miger and i have a lot of questions to ask you and i believe god is going to answer all your questions so be ready uh take pen and book and uh, write down all the revelation that is god is going to reveal to you okay thank you bishop for your presence and we are so honored and we are so blessed to have you so bishop i have a lot of questions to ask you can i go forward bishop wonderful i'm happy to be back on the program again and uh, i hope uh, you are uh, tuned in and uh, get ready because a lot of great questions um that pastor shalem is going to ask and i'm happy to answer and as you all know i have a very less few minutes to answer huge questions but i'll do justice if you have any more questions for my answers then you have to write to our office and then we'll try to give you the right answer go ahead pastor shalem go ahead we are happy to have you and i'm happy to be on the program thank you so much bishop we are honored and blessed bishop i have wonderful question to ask you uh, nowadays uh, this is about affirmations uh, which all the people all the spiritual people are doing even in the uh, body of christ bishop this is my question can a christian affirm things or uh, you know people say that we must pray a group say we have to pray to god and god will give you and there is another uh, group or people i can say they just affirm in the name of jesus and uh, they receive and also there are a gentile world which do the same they affirm things and they say that uh, it will come to them just like the law of attraction so uh, this is my uh, question should a christian pray or affirm things in order to get it so please like i told in the past uh, few questions prayer is a uh, is like backbone prayer is like breathing air it's a fellowship with jesus so you cannot do anything else than fellowshiping with jesus if there is no fellowship with jesus whatever gimmicks or whatever uh names you want to put whatever you know dramas or uh, kind of uh compromise that you do will not work so prayer is a fellowship with jesus you talk you receive you hear there it is a dialogue so without prayer without talking to jesus even though jesus knows everything you know the gospels a few first few chapters where jesus talks about uh, in the beatitudes and then the uh, four fifth six seven chapters he says pray you know the heavenly father knows what you need and then he says after that he says you know he needs what you, you know, what you need to eat what you need to drink you see the lilies of the field the sparrows they neither sow nor they reap but your heavenly father knows all your needs then he says ask pray and then he teaches you how to pray all that so in a christian's life prayer is the backbone prayer is a dialogue with you and jesus without praying you are dead spiritually people die spiritually is because they do not have fellowship with jesus take it this is a ground zero rule 
zero zero point one rho, and uh, it's uh, you cannot live as a Christian without praying. So don't don't believe people who come up with all kinds of theology, all kinds of uh, you know new science or uh, new high tech kind of thinking. Yes, prayer is very important, and uh, uh, praying in the spirit is also something you go into a deeper level. But yes, prayer, pray all the time. Pray without ceasing. That's what Jesus is talking about in Thessalonians fifth chapter. It says, "Pray without ceasing." How can you pray without ceasing? You listen to my teachings. You listen to the to Grace TV. You will know how you can pray without ceasing. Okay. God bless you. Nowadays, uh, when we see in the world, they just formations like uh, "I am blessed," "I am rich," and "I am powerful." I call things into being. So those kind of affirmations are in the world, in the Christian body today. But as you said, the fellowship with Jesus is very important, and people are saying uh, all these things without having fellowship of Jesus. So, do you think will it work? Even they affirm in the name of Jesus. You're talking about affirmation. Uh, what what I am understanding by your question, affirmation is: Can we confess? Can we use the word? Um, See, using the word and um, using the scriptures, that's what the Bible says, the tongue, you know, the, the mouth, the word has power for life or for death. Proverbs talks about it. Your tongue has power for life or death. So when you speak, Jesus gave the power to speak when God you know created the world he spoke and things came into existence so when god gives you a scripture a promise yes so speak it out and not in a ritualistic manner not like 100 times or 1000 times sometimes i keep receiving these uh, uh, messages on whatsapp it says you know you do this 10 times and then you'll get million dollars uh, it's not going to happen like that it's not a law ritualistic basis it is when God promised you, he will give it to you. And uh, confession is a part of, uh, you know, your Christian walk, a Christian belief. You have to confess. That's how you know Jesus as your personal savior. Unless you confess Jesus through your words, you know, you cannot imagine Jesus coming into your heart. I mean, you can imagine Jesus coming to your heart, but it is important to confess so that is where, you know, when you take baptism, why do people take baptism in front of people? Because it is an outward expression, a confession that you are doing before people that I have accepted Jesus as my personal savior. And I'm dying and now I'm be becoming a new person going under the water and coming out again. So confession is important, but don't try name it, claim it, fame it. You know, all that is, I, I don't believe in that. When God promised you, he will bring it to pass. Um, you don't have to remind him thousand times or million times. That is not. I mean, you want to love him and talk to him uh, using those promises. It's okay. But claiming it like, you know, thousand times, I, I don't agree. It's not scriptural. It's not biblical. So don't name it and claim it. That's that's not the Bible that uh, we uh, we need to follow or the preachers, not the Bible I'm saying. It's not in the Bible. It's a lot of preachers who have done that. So name it, claim it. People, be careful. Love Jesus, you'll get everything. Seek his kingdom and his righteousness. All things will be added unto you. So pastor, I hope I answered the question. Yes, Bishop. Thank you so much. Uh, yes, we have got the answer. Uh, you said that to love Jesus.